all right y'all so we are back with another chuck video man and this is dope because i actually got to speak to the chuck team i know a lot of you all don't know that um i, I mean shout out to the chuck team but if you're in the patreon you know that because listen i mean that's where all the alphas are gonna go bro like that's what it is like youtube i make videos on youtube talking about the things that i'm interested in but when it comes down to stuff that i'm hearing behind the scenes talking to people like who's up there like all that stuff this is like that's a benefit of knowing me that's a benefit of being in my circle and being a part of my network so obviously that has to be value for the patreon so that's the type of stuff that's in the patreon which is probably what got a lot of the patreon members actually in on chuck pretty early in comparison so um yeah i mean it's a lot of dope things happening with this project this is not just a regular meme coin it is a very very good meme coin one of the funniest Everyone always says they have good memes and all that stuff. It's one of the best ones out there when it comes down to that, but they're actually making moves and that's what we're gonna be covering, the moves that they're making in the background. So as you can see, like, look at this, it has a low market, dang, dang, it don't went up, that's crazy. Um, it's almost at a uh, at seven M's. Yes, it's going, it's going up pretty quick. So, I mean, let's jump into it, man. Um, <clears throat> essentially, what's going on what what like let's just, just jump to the biggest rumor which is kind of crazy it's kind of crazy because as a omi token holder i've been waiting for stuff like this for the longest but the rumor going around and something that i heard it may or may not be true which is, is, is probably true is they're working on a coinbase listing they haven't confirmed that they have it but they are working on it that is the goal that that's what they're going for like literally right now like that that is what they're doing right now they're trying to get a coinbase listing figure out how to get that done like and and that is insane to be trying to to move at this speed because it's not even just about exchanges obviously this is a meme coin we're in the middle of a bull run um obviously people need to be able to get their hands on a token so the token holders can get some value from holding the tokens so this is huge i love the fact that this is a company that actually cares about token holders because obviously, I mean, if you're on this channel, you know what it's like when a company gives two shits about you. When it comes down to the token holding side anyways, like they'll switch it up on you and be like, oh, it has nothing to do with a token anyway. It's all about loving and collectibles and shit. But regardless, like, it's, not, it's, not, it's not even a, um, a VV rant or a speech or nothing like that. So um, <clears throat> yeah. So that being said, the fact that they're going and trying to figure out the steps to take to get a Coinbase listing is huge already um so yeah that is some some very very big t i mean like i said shout out to the patreon they knew that already <laughs> and i was saying but they knew that before the pump by the way before the pump. and this is what i mean like certain information that you have it it changes the decision that you would that, that you would make like if you know certain things is coming because you are friends like you actually are in a circle with people who know things are coming you can make moves before everyone else makes moves now you got a lot of people out here who have different opinions oh this is a pump and dump group that's unfair that's this that's that i mean bill gates warren buffett any any of these guys know things that you don't know <laughs> you gotta work your way up to get to a level where you can be in a room with certain people that's what it is now we live in an internet age where you got somebody you got people who can sit here and just charge and be like yo you want to join my network you want to join my group of people you want to be a part of it like bro just, just come in like you have access you have ways to access people and, and networks that you wouldn't have access to otherwise and people sleep on the opportunity so you you miss out on money when you do that like it it may seem like you saving money not doing it but then you see something like this go up in a pump and you might have had some information that would have made you but hey it is what it is it definitely is what it is that, that's how it's gonna be but anyway so yeah, they they're talking. They're, they're in talks, trying to figure out how to go about this Coinbase thing. They're um they're they're getting they're getting that that sorted out. But that's not even well. I mean, that's actually the dopest part. That's the coolest part. People will be able to get their hands on the token. So obviously, everybody who's holding the token, when it's more complicated, more fees associated and stuff like that, obviously the people already holding the token is going to benefit if that comes through and they actually are able to secure that. So that's huge. The fact that they're going for that already. Cause that's one of the biggest criticisms we have about vivi they're not on any trusted exchanges and yeah so that that's crazy now if you haven't seen some of my other videos i have spoken a little bit about this they they are partnering they they are trying to work on a partnership with another big company as well they're trying to work with another big com company in the space 
And I'm not gonna say any names. Like, I mean, <coughs> excuse me, yo. Boy, is getting over a cold. I feel like I'm always getting over a cold, bro. But I mean, maybe it's just when I decide to actually upload. It's like, I always get sick and then, then I upload. It's like, I'll be perfectly fine living life. That, that's what it be. I think that's what it be. I be out, I don't be in the crib. Like, I, I don't be I don't be working on this this type of stuff. I be, you know, I be doing other stuff. And then as soon as I, I get in the crib, I'm like, eh, I'm here, let's let's make some videos, why not? And yeah, that, that's what happens. So that being said, um, they are trying to partner with another another serious company. It's like what what we know about this company is they are in they they're working with. It's not just a meme coin. They're working with big partners. They're they're trying to get in even bigger partners. They're they're trying to make a lot of things happen, right? So. They're trying to get into the AI space harder. They're trying to trying to really dive into there. We know that they have a charity that they give away money to the dogs and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> then they also are working on stuff that I, I've heard they're working on stuff in the gaming. You know, the gaming sector. Some some stuff is being worked on. I know of I know of a couple of projects that's already in the works. Apparently, so there's some projects in the works already. There's already stuff going on and they're already looking for forms of utility to come to the token. Now, this is not average for your meme coin. Somebody somebody in one of my recent videos actually commented and said, yo, at the point where they're they're dropping utility and stuff for this, and at the point where you can actually do, it's no, it's no longer a meme coin. <clears throat> and I mean, they might be on to something, or this may be a sign that meme coins are about to start evolving. Look at how Chuck has come up out of nowhere and start blowing up and start doing this well. This may be a sign that the market is requiring utility. The market wants a story behind projects. The market wants to see these meme coins being not just being out here being shitters, them having a reason to stick around because you're less likely to rug some. Actually, they've taken all the steps to make sure you, you can't really rug this. They, they've taken all the steps to make sure that that's clear. But on top of that, they're actually setting goals, aspirations, and they're building things. They're actually building things. You're not gonna be out here building a bunch of technologies, stuff that works, stuff that you're putting hours into, man hours into, and, and, and funds behind. You're not gonna be doing all of this just to you know up and disappear. <clears throat> and that's the problem with a lot of these projects that just come up out of nowhere. They'll come up, get a quick payday, and leave, because they don't have any goals. They're not trying to build anything. They come up like, <clears throat> yo, I'm I'm Pepe's best friend. Hey. And everybody, oh, Pepe's best friend. Let me get in on this because he's going to blow up like Pepe. And then you have a situation like Brett where 80% of the whole freaking supply is being held by the team who can just dump on everybody at any point in time. That's crazy. <clears throat> so this is why when a project comes up and does this in a legitimate way and it's it looks like this is moving like this. Like, bro, I, I think that they're doing it the right way. It's a lot It's a lot more of a safer investment. Now, like I said, anything can happen in crypto. As much as I like the team and stuff like that, and I mean, and I trust the team, it's like anything can happen. I don't, I'm not best friends with anybody. I know people through this space and through the community. I'm not best friends with nobody. So at the end of the day, I get information. And I get information that other high up individuals also get. So it's like we all in circles where we get in certain pieces and bits of information and we trust in people. It comes with a lot of trust too. <laughs> but the thing is, <clears throat> when you get in certain circles, a lot of people are doing business together. A lot of people have stuff going on even outside of just crypto. So you don't want to sit here and bring your real life friends in on something and then screw everybody. So it's like, at least if you have a circle that's like, you know, a good, a good circle, a group, a good group of people. So yeah, I, I can tell you that um, <laughs> serious effort is being put into making this something more than just a regular meme coin. That's why they're setting up donations to charities. They're supporting streamers already. Um, they're 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 getting um they have talked to a few bigger streamers and got promo promos and stuff put out there. Had them check out the chart and check out and, and give opinions and stuff like that. Like that's huge, and you can go and find all that on Chuck's Twitter. But um, but yeah, like that, that's pretty much it, man. That, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk to y'all about in this video. Just some very exciting things coming with Chuck that, I mean, you might not know. And and this is why it's going crazy. And, and I'm sure, like, listen, I'm not the only one. I'm not the only circle that, that's out there where 
It's just my friends who know. Like, I'm in circles with other people, and I'm sure those other people have their own circles and friends and stuff like that. So people know. It's just about being in one of these circles, finding these people, connecting with these people, and stuff like that, man. So, I mean, the reason that you're seeing the performance of stuff like this is because a lot of people probably know what's going on. If you're one of the people just out here winging it and you don't have a circle, hey, I'm just saying, that, I mean, it works. Obviously, when I was in the v, when, in the VV days, like when I was coming up in VV, I was doing it all solo. I was, I didn't need information. I didn't need any of that. I, I thought I could just do it all by, my, by myself. <clears throat> and I made a lot of money that way. <clears throat> I made a lot of money that way. But if I would have known the things that you know by surrounding yourself with the right right people and people smarter than you, you get way, way bigger results and way faster by knowing the information that you don't know before you make mistakes. So, I mean, you, you should, like, your network is your net worth. I've been saying that a lot, and it's because I've grown to a point and gotten to a level where I realize your network is your net worth. That's what it is. So... You should be looking to take advantage of this opportunity and build up a good circle of people, build up a network, because that's going to be invaluable, man. Um, but <clears throat> that being said, if you want to check out Chuck, go ahead, man. Check out their socials, all that. Make sure y'all check it out. Um, you can you can grab you can grab this if you want it. It's on um I buy mine through Coinbase um wallet, and I made a video on that that's already on the channel. You can go and check that out. But yeah, I mean, solid project in my opinion. I am a holder. I'm a holder. This is not financial advice. I benefit from anyone who decides to jump in here and invest. I'm not hiding anything from nobody, bro. It is what it is. Everyone is making money in the space in a certain way. Like all the insiders who's friends with VV and the team and stuff like that, you think that that's not a group of people who know stuff that we don't know? Come on now. Everybody has groups and clicks and stuff like that. And you got certain people who cry about the fact that everybody has groups and clicks. You have other people who become a valuable person to be a part of a group and a click just to have access to that information. That's what it is. Like you, you're a person with information or you're a person without information. You can cry that everybody else has information, but guess what? Who you gonna cry to? You like, you can do something like cry, cry to the government. The government is a group and click who got information that nobody else got. It's like, who, who do you, who do you go to? That's not a group and a click of people with information. This is how the world works. The world works this way. The world works this way, man. So y'all gotta start waking up to the fact that you can't just be a solo warrior forever, man. Like who you know, who you know definitely matters. Who you know matters for sure. But yeah, that's pretty much it, Joe. Um, hopefully you all enjoyed the video, found it valuable. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.